This is the Secular Bible Study. I'm the Amateur Exegete. In our last video, we introduced the synoptic problem. In looking at the calling of the tax collector that appears in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, we noticed that while all three are very similar to one another, they also exhibit some very real differences. How are these differences best explained? Well, there are a variety of proposals. We will consider one of those proposals today. The order in which the Gospels have been placed in the canonical New Testament reflects the order in which early Christians believed they had been written. Matthew was first, Mark came second, Luke came third, and John was last. Why place Matthew first? Matthean priority rests almost entirely on the shoulders of the second century church father Papias. None of Papias' work survives outside of quotations found in the writings of other early Christian leaders. One important passage is found in the writings of the 4th century historian and bishop Eusebius. In his ecclesiastical history, Papias is quoted as saying, Matthew put together the oracles in the Hebrew language, and each one interpreted them as best he could. While there is some debate as to what exactly Papias meant, there is no doubt that many early Christians regarded his statement on Matthew to mean that he had originally composed his gospel in Hebrew or Aramaic, but not Greek. Furthermore, Papias states that it was Matthew who wrote it. Who else could this be but the tax collector of Matthew 9.9, whose name appears in the list of the twelve in Matthew 10 verses 2 through 4? Papias also discussed the writing of the Gospel of Mark. He wrote, Mark, having become the interpreter of Peter, wrote down accurately, though not in order, whatsoever he remembered of the things said or done by Christ. For early Christians, Papias' testimony established two things. First, Mark's Gospel had a disciple of Jesus as its ultimate source. And second, Mark wrote independently of Matthew. Though Papias doesn't directly comment on either the Gospels of Luke or John, the general view of most Christians was that the Gospel of Luke had been written by Luke the physician, who was a companion of Paul, and that the Gospel of John had been written by the disciple John the son of Zebedee. It doesn't seem that early Christians were all that concerned with the synoptic problem though they certainly acknowledged similarities and differences between the synoptics there was no overt concern over the relationship between them matthean priority was assumed and the other two synoptics were written independently of matthew just as john seemed to have been then came one of the most important christian thinkers ever to have lived augustine of hippo in his harmony of the gospels augustine had this to say so these four evangelists, well known throughout the entire world, are regarded to have written in this order. First Matthew, then Mark, third Luke, and last John. Augustine affirms the canonical order of books, a view held by most Christians. Augustine also wrote that Matthew had originally composed his gospel in Hebrew and that it was later translated into Greek. But, Whereas Papias and other early Christians believe Mark had written his gospel independently of Matthew and based it upon the memories of Peter, Augustine had a different view. He wrote, Mark follows him, that is Matthew, closely, and looks like his attendant and epitomizer. For in his narrative he gives nothing in concert with John apart from the others. By himself separately, he has little to record. In conjunction with Luke, as distinguished from the rest, he still has less. But, in concord with Matthew, he has a very large number of passages. Much, too, he narrates in words almost numerically and identically the same as those used by Matthew, where the agreement is either with the evangelist alone or with him in connection with the rest. According to Augustine, Mark's gospel was an abbreviated version of Matthew's. 
And as evidence for this, he points out that Mark tends to be in agreement with Matthew and that he even has a number of passages nearly identical to the first Gospels. As for Luke's Gospel, Augustine believed that Luke had utilized his predecessors of Matthew and Mark to compose his own. So here we have the earliest hypothesis seeking to resolve the synoptic problem. We refer to it as the Augustinian hypothesis. In short, the hypothesis states that Matthew composed his gospel first, Mark abbreviated Matthew's gospel to compose his own, and Luke wrote using both Matthew's gospel and Mark's. But this is not the only possible solution to the synoptic problem, and it is certainly not the only one that rests upon the notion of Matthean priority. We will look at another in our next video. This is the Amateur Exegete, signing off.